Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we're going to discuss about Laravel 7 Chrome job. So how we can schedule Chrome job in Laravel 7. So friends, we have already discussed about the some tutorials. If you don't know about the Laravel 7 brief, so you can check out my previous video. I have already uploaded this. So now I have installed the Laravel 7. This is a Laravel 7 and inside of the .env file unit to put the configuration setting about the database and email. I am not going to show you right now because I had just put it my personal email ID something. So I uh, hope so you understand how to uh, configure your the database and email ID. So once you successfully configure your email ID and database, what you need to do, you need to create a command something, okay? So how we can create a command, you need to write this particular command, php artisan make command. Once you created this command, what will happen, I am going to show you here realistic example. Once you successfully run this command, then you need to go inside of the uh, console inside app console inside the console we have the commands we have the kernel method so I have a created commands which name is minute update okay so minutes update here I am using right now which is app user this is my model hope so you are aware about user model this is by default by um, Laravel so once you successfully uh, added that you need to also migrate the command um, hope so uh, this is clear pictures in your mind if you have any also doubt please let me know so i will give a separate video step by step i will show you how you write a command something everything i will so i'm going to show you as an overview here so just because we are uh, using right now we will send email something so i'm using mail library is also here and also we are using the model so we have the user model basically so what we're doing here we have the class which is name is a minute update also we are using the uh, extending the command which is a basically uh, base of the command we whatever the commands we will use we need to always extend the which is a command something uh, class basically and we have the signature here and you need to put the signature whatever what kind of signatures do you have so you need to put here okay so once you successfully added this what you need to do we have the description also we need to put here the descriptions also whatever descriptions you want you can put from your side and also we have the construct method and here this is the main part of the um, command so here we are using the command whatever want whatever you will uh, suppose if you want to send an email for the birthday wish and anniversary wish any kind of particular event something you want to fire the execution command something you can put here the whatever uh, I have using right now the ORM which is the fetching the database where from the database all data and here we are using the forage loop once you added the for inside of the forage loop we are hitting the particular mail function this is automatically generated minutes update what is this we can pass the in email the some body part something so whatever you want to pass here so you can pass and whatever email you want to send from so you can put here and we have the multiple email id so we are fetching from the database we have put it here in two method okay so now we have the subject method in minutes if you want to whatever you want you can put here okay so once you successfully and then we are passing the information like email update successfully something okay so we can do that using this one guys once you successfully added also don't forget to ins run in uh, put the command basically inside of the kernel so inside the kernel we have to implement the protect method suppose you have the multiple uh, commands something you need to pass always here inside the commands inside the commands commands folder we have the minutes update so whatever commands you have created you need to always put here inside the kernel.php once you successfully added it what you need to do we need to schedule schedule the task suppose if i want to uh, every minute something so you can put here every five minute every six minute whatever uh, minutes you want you can put here so how you can put the this kind of function so i have written here also even you can check for the liable website we have the prone job here the multiple method is here so you can check here the every minutes every five minutes every 10 minutes every 30 minutes early daily so these are the functionality we can also implement in the website also if you want to this video in the brief so let me know so definitely i would forget to uh, add this particular lines of suppose if you want to run then you have to run this conch php as partition schedule call and run so uh, once you hit it, this particular command then what will happen we have added uh, let me show you my email id and once you let me check this email id why do we will receive email id yes yes we get the email from this email id i'm going to remove this one hope so you understand how this is working